Mac Buckley here with the UCCS Athletic Network. Here we have head coach Lynn Plett after the win against Colorado School of Mines, 73-65 to on that one. Coach, results 2-0 this weekend at home. Is that what you wanted to see? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, – uh, Mines is a really good team. I mean, they were uh, – they've got a lot of opportunity – a lot of options on their offensive end. They've got kids that – really can score in a lot of different ways and it was a challenge for us and I was real pleased that our girls basically lived up to the challenge and did a really good job fought them off uh, throughout the game every time we would kind of push it up to eight or nine they'd come right back and could get a cut at the three or closer and and then we'd push it up again and they'd do it again and so uh, it was a pretty much of a battle for the whole 40 minutes yeah, Coach, and it looked like you went with the same starting lineup that you had out there for last night's game and then put them back in with three minutes left in that fourth quarter. What were, how were you trying to close out that game with three minutes left? Well, they had, they had uh, kind of picked up the intensity down the stretch and it really had hurt us on the offensive boards and we just needed to make a, a much more of a decision to blocks out uh, to make sure they don't get any more opportunities and uh, down the stretch in the last couple of minutes I thought that was the best group to go with and they've been most consistent too. Tori obviously had, had a really good game and Brittany again was really solid all those two carried us on the offensive end for the most part Anna came in and hit a couple of baskets and did some good things for us too and and uh, and then Jen was was uh, aggressive at penetrating to the basket and when our guards did a little bit better job of penetrating today too so uh, but uh, again uh, my just hung in there and they just kept coming back too it was uh i'm not looking forward to going to their place but i'm glad we got this one yeah coach and then going talking about just getting the win tonight that increases the home undefeated for four and oh now and talking about that as far as it being early on in the season starting out with four wins at home against some heavy conference teams really how does that build the team and how does that build the team for this next for the rest of the season? Well, to be honest, I hope we're not thinking about that uh, <laughs> because again, it's uh, going back to that same thing about well, okay, what we did in those four games is great, but that then everyone is new, and so uh, we have to come back after this Christmas break and be focused on the next game, and that's Western. I think that we're playing on the, on the thirtieth, so we've got to really uh, just kind of keep going and keep going. I, I don't want uh, sometimes when you start looking back, oh, we've got a streak going or we've done this, uh, that's wonderful. But uh, but we got to keep our eyes on the future and keep looking for the for what we have in front of us. And then we talked a little bit about a couple of players. You know, Colorado School of Mines having some key players that are you know top five in the RMAC. I mean, talking about Cassidy Budge, who is number four in the RMAC in three point shooting. You guys limited her, and she only um, made two of the five three pointers that she um, attempted. What was the strategy on that for defensive to shut her down like that? Well, the strategy was not to let her have five of those shots. So that that was the initial strategy is try to, you know, don't let her get those open looks. And um, they set some pretty good screens, and we got caught on some of those screens. And and uh, we just didn't react maybe as quick as we needed to sometimes. And uh, But the screens were pretty aggressive at times, too. So, uh, uh, again, like you're, you're making a comment, too, that leads me right back to the same thing of saying it. They're, they've got so many different tools on offense that it's, they're a tough team to match up with. And it looked like a couple of times, you know, um, struggling a little bit, like you said, would get that eight-point um, lead, and then they'd come right back. You guys ended up going with a 9-2 run at one point in the game. But, you know, um, Colorado School of Mines just nipping at the heels. They had a couple of offensive opportunities and got a couple second and third chances there. Coach, what's the stra- what's the tactic for keeping up that intensity on defense with making those blocks? Well, the the the, the thing we the, we look at it to the most for the most part is there's three categories that I think are really important, and that is one offensive rebounds and turnovers and shooting percentage, and I think that's the kind of depicts on what kind of defense you're going you're doing because the turnovers obviously are a little bit more on offense, but as far as Giving up offensive rebounds, uh, that still goes back to the defensive part. You've got to finish that defensive transition by making sure they don't get an offensive rebound and get another possession. And then the shooting percentage, I think, is really probably the probably the truest reflection on what kind of team defense you play because if you can keep them shooting a lower percentage than what you're shooting, um, that's got to be an advantage for us. And if you can win all three of those categories, you're probably going to win a game. We won one of those tonight. We actually outshot them. Our percentage was better. They had more offensive rebounds than we did, and, with, and they had fewer turnovers than we did so fortunately we shot the ball better than they did tonight and that was really the difference probably in the ball game statistically 
And also contributing to those um, shots, um, your team ended up having nine steals on the night. You know, Brittany Hernandez got a really big steal, converted that into two points. Jen Vijo also with the steal. I mean, Tori Fisher, the list goes on there. Coach, that intensity on defense really converting into offense, and we've talked about that last, um, last time. It just it continues to be you know, an effective strategy. Um, how are you able to continue that success out there? <laughs> That's up to them <laughs> as far as, I mean, I, I don't have a magic formula or anything before the game that I can give them. A, you know, this is your intensity level right here. It's, uh, it's they've got to do that. And uh, Tori's been one of the leaders in that on a consistent basis. And tonight, that was really good to see her get maybe a few fruits on the offensive end, too. She shot the ball a little bit more, and we've been bugging her a little bit about not shooting the ball enough. Mm -hmm. um, took six shots last night, I think, and took 13 tonight. And I think she was overwhelmed when we to told her that she, because Liz, our assistant coach, told her after the game that you took 13 shots. And I think she was a, kind of astounded at the point that she did. But she needs to do that. She can. Uh, she got a little bit more aggressive. She got strong at the block and, and scored at the block. And that's, that's really, that's really the, uh, her key. And she's good down there. And so is Brittany. So uh, we were able to really get the ball inside mm -hmm. and, and, and really convert on that a lot tonight. And I think that was probably the biggest difference in the game. Coach, coming into the game tonight, just taking a look, did you know it was going to be that heavy of a post-playing game? Well, that's that's our strength. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're really trying to trying to take advantage of that, too. And honestly, and I think our guards are figuring out a little bit better, too. When we throw the ball inside, you know, we really have some unselfish post players, sometimes too unselfish, and but they'll kick it back out. And if our guards are ready, that's really the most consistent three-point shot that we have. Uh, we don't shoot the ball consistently very much when we're moving or we're, we're dribbling into it or those type of things. We just have our arm on a, on a quick pass. We just haven't really been consistent that way. But we're much more consistent when we go inside and then they kick the ball out, especially when they're double teamed inside and our post players kick it to them. Then they're set, looking at the basket. They're facing a target that they're shooting at. And we're a lot more consistent that way. And I think our players are starting to figure that out a little bit more. There you have head coach Lynn Platt giving the wrap-up of the win against Colorado School of Mines. Mac Buckley here with the UCCS Athletic Network. Hey, coach, thank you so much. Thanks, Mac.